refraction of light. Let's, let's glean some understanding of why light refracts between two mediums. And here's a great analogy that I first read about in one of Feynman's books. And it takes the situation of a lifeguard and a person drowning. Now, if the lifeguard wants to save this person's life, well, it is imperative that he get there in the least amount of time possible. He's not going to take the path of least distance. He needs to take the path of least time, because the quicker he gets there, the greater chance he has of saving his life. Well, it turns out that light behaves the same way. And Fermat's principle tells us that light always takes the path of least time. So not distance, but at least time. Now, the straight shot, going back to our analogy of the lifeguard, and if you've ever jaywalked, you know how this works, you're going to go like this. Boom. But that's the path of least distance, not the path of least time. And the reason it's not the path of least time is because you, can, you swim much more slowly in water than you run on land. So a more clever path would be something like this, and then swim diagonally to it. And that is probably the path of least time. And that's the path that the lifeguard's going to take to save him. Well, light does the exact same thing. Light takes the path of least time, and that's why light refracts on the medium. And if we draw in the normal line, you get these two angles, the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction. So there you go, the lifeguard analogy for why light refracts between two mediums.